The responsorial psalm is going to be bilingual. The Lord is kind and merciful. El Señor es compasivo y misericordioso. is the traditional The offertory song is number 129 and we're talking about the Spanish hymnal. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that it's the Spanish hymnal. It's, it's right up front in one little cart. You can pick it up over there. But it's 129. Pongo en tus manos. Thirty-five years ago, when I came to San Antonio, was the first time I went to an English Mass. And I got to learn so many beautiful songs in English. And it has been a beautiful experience to, through the years, I, I can say now that I can leave the English Mass as much as I do the, the Spanish. It takes a little time. And uh, this mass is bilingual. And we really encourage you to uh, check the book and, and try to sing these beautiful Spanish hymns that we have put together. And uh, so you have that experience that I had 
that be this beautiful experience of uh, uh, praising the Lord in more than one language. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have the communion song number 88. 88. I love this one because it sounds like uh, one of those Mexicans songs during the re revolution. the recessional hymn number five. Then again, the big Spanish hymnal. This one is a little peppy, so be ready to clap and sing if you want.
Please rise. Please rise. the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. El Señor esté con ustedes. Con Buenas, tardes. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Let us prepare to celebrate this Mass. Today, Wednesday, the Church honors especially St. Joseph. So today we say the devoted Mass of St. Joseph the Worker, asking for all those who do not have a job, who are looking for a, for a job. And as we prepare to celebrate this Mass, we recognize also that we need God. Every time we sin, it is something in our, in, in within us that tell, tells us, you need God, you need God, the strength of the Holy Spirit. So with humility, we recognize our need of God, recognize our sins, and we ask God for forgiveness and strength. Yo confieso ante Dios Todopoderoso y ante ustedes hermanos que he pecado mucho de pensamiento, palabra, obra y omisión por mi culpa, por mi culpa, por mi grande culpa por eso ruego a Santa María siempre Virgen a los ángeles, a los santos y a ustedes hermanos que intercedan por mí ante Dios nuestro Señor El Señor Todopoderoso tenga misericordia de nosotros, perdone nuestros pecados y nos lleve a la vida eterna. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the, the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you said, said us to do and attain the reward you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lectura del libro del Éxodo. En aquellos días Moisés pastoreaba el rebaño de su suegro, Jetro, sacerdote de Madián. En cierta ocasión llegó el rebaño más allá del desierto, hasta el Joreb, el monte de Dios. Y el Señor se le apareció en una llama que salía de un zarzal. 
Moisés observó con gran asombro que la zarza ardía sin consumirse y se dijo, voy a ver de cerca esa cosa tan extraña porque la zarza no se quema. Viendo el señor que Moisés se había desviado para mirar, lo llamó desde la zarza, Moisés, Moisés. Él respondió, aquí estoy, le dijo Dios, no te acerques, quítate las sandalias porque el lugar que pisas es tierra sagrada. Y añadió, yo soy el Dios de tus padres, el Dios de Abraham, el Dios de Isaac y el Dios de Jacob. Entonces Moisés se tapó la cara porque tuvo miedo de mirar a Dios. Pero el Señor le dijo, el clamor de los hijos de Israel ha llegado hasta mí y he visto cómo los oprimen los egipcios. Ahora ve a ver al faraón porque yo te envío para que saques de Egipto a mi pueblo, a los hijos de Israel. Moisés le dijo entonces a Dios, ¿Quién soy yo para presentarme ante el faraón y sacar de Egipto a los hijos de Israel? El Señor respondió, yo estaré contigo y esta será la señal de que yo te envío. Cuando haya sacado de Egipto a mi pueblo, ustedes darán culto a Dios en este monte. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. The Lord is kind and merciful. El Señor es compasivo y misericordioso. The Lord is kind and merciful. El Señor. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. Gracias, Padre, Señor del cielo y de la tierra, porque has revelado los misterios del reino a la gente sencilla. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that, Jesus, at that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
for a couple of weeks, as I have said before, we have been meditating on the, on the first reading from uh, the patriarchs in the church. We began with Abraham, you remember, especially in the, during the weekdays, Abraham, and uh, then Isaac, Abraham's uh, son, and then Jacob, or Israel, which is the same person, and then Joseph. Now we begin with Moses. As we, as we, as the church meditates on this, we can see the history of salvation. It's what we call the history of salvation. How God, how God has been leading the people uh, towards uh, the promised land, because the, the purpose is a promised land. All this God creates a people for Himself, and that people is not is not the most powerful people. In fact, as we as we began to say today, they are enslaved in Egypt. They went to Egypt because Joseph was a very important person over there and helped the people. But Joseph died, and this Pharaoh came who didn't know about Joseph and tried to enslave the people of Israel, tried to, to put harsh words on them. They tried to kill them. And Moses was saved from this killing. And, and, and And, and, and Moses now in the desert today, and this comes and meets, meet God. It's a beautiful image. But let, let me put in the context from the, from, from the gospel today. You know, Jesus directs his heart to, toward his father, his thought toward his father, and begins with this day, I give you praise, Father. You know, remember when, when Jesus told his disciples, when you pray, pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. It is, the, it is the prayer of Jesus, always toward his Father, always towards uh, praising his, his heavenly Father, because all things come from God, because everything good thing comes from God. And uh, so Jesus begins praising his God, and he praises for something very specific in this, in this occasion, because you have revealed these things to the little ones, and you have hidden this from the wise and learned. Is Jesus praising God because uh, the learned and the wise uh, did not receive the, the revelation of God? No, it's not. They themselves close their hearts because the, who, who were these wise and learned people? Especially all those who said, you know, I know the law. I, 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 I'm a very important person. I, I'm in this. So those who believe they do not know, they do not need God, let's say, because they were saved already, because they were the people who received the law, because they were, so they were kind of prideful uh, persons. You know, they closed themselves to receiving the graces of God. But Jesus does not got disappointed because of that. He praises God because these little ones were able to receive the gospel. Thank you, Father, because these little ones, who, who were these? Simple people, people who do not know much, people uh, and this. He was a very, very important person, you know, in the court of the Pharaoh in Egypt. Well, he was persecuted because he killed an Egyptian who was uh, beating a, a, a Hebrew person. So he killed it, and the Pharaoh got to know that Moses did that and persecuted Moses to kill him. But he, uh, Moses uh, flee, uh, flew away and, and went to this place and they got married over there, so he was serving as a shepherd uh, for his uh, father-in-law. You know, he was working for his father-in-law as a shepherd. Uh, by approaching Moses by name, uh, well, tells us how close is God to us, the relationship that God wants to have with us. And Moses responds to the, to the voice of God, Moses, Moses, here I am, Lord, here I am. And say, well, you know, Take away your shoes because this ground is holy. And it is holy not, not because of the ground, because the presence of God is there. The presence of God is there. I mean, don't, don't count Moses like a, with something superficial things. You know, your feet on the, on the ground. Come to God. And then God, you know, there's kind of funny things because God sent Moses back to Egypt, to Pharaoh. Pharaoh wants to kill the, Moses, and God sent Moses back to, to Egypt, to the Pharaoh. And what is the difference now? I will be with you. I will be with you. 
and you will come back to this same place one time and you will worship me here in this place. In the Horeb or Sinai Mount, you know, uh, you know, the story, you know, how, how things in the story goes back and forth, but the capacity of Moses to listen to God. We continue listening to the story. You know, the, the story does not end right here. You know, Moses goes and the Pharaoh is very stubborn. They don't want to le let the Israelites go out and so forth. But my emphasis is this. God calls those who want to listen. Moses, a very humble person, listened the voice of God. And because he listened the voice of God, he will free his people from slavery. You know, it is God through specific people. When we listen to God, other people uh, receive the blessings as well. Other people, God benefit because our listening to God. Well, let us pray to the Holy Spirit to give us this humility that we need. That, the, that we may be like a, these little ones who received the message of Jesus. And by receiving it, we will, we will be able to share this message with other people. Well, may the Holy Spirit do this in us. Amen. O una palabra en español. Oh, se me andaba olvidando. <laughs> Sorry, se me andaba olvidando en español. Uh, el Evangelio, el Evangelio, Jesús alaba y glorifica a su Padre porque los pequeños han podido escuchar el Evangelio, su Palabra. Creer en Jesús no significa un conocimiento intelectual, que Jesús es el Hijo de Dios, que Jesús es el Salvador, todo eso es cierto. Creer en Jesús significa seguir las... Escuchar a Dios, creer en Dios, siempre trae como beneficio bendiciones para otras personas también. Primero para la persona pero también para las personas. Y así lo encontramos en Moisés, en la primera lectura. Hoy Dios lo escoge, lo llama por su nombre, un Dios cercano, un Dios que lo conoce, que nos conoce por nombre. Lo llama por su nombre y lo manda a Egipto, donde lo están persiguiendo para matarlo. Lo manda otra vez con el faraón para que libere a su pueblo. Vamos a seguir leyendo la historia de Moisés y vamos a saber que no es nada fácil que Moisés va y viene constantemente con Dios, Dios, pero mira, no quiere, no quiere el faraón, ve otra vez Moisés, pero mira, no quiere, y ahí va Moisés, de un lado para otro, hasta que Dios libera a su pueblo. Bien, vamos a pedirle al Espíritu Santo que nos conceda esa capacidad de escucha, que creamos en Dios, que vayamos creciendo en fe, no solamente que conozcamos de Dios, sino que creamos en la palabra de Jesús. Amén. Santo Padre, el Papa Francisco y por todos los que dirigen nuestra iglesia, que Dios les conceda. Por todos los que han muerto marcados con el signo de la fe, que Dios los acoja en su hogar eterno, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, óyenos. For those traveling for World Youth Day, may God bless them, keep them safe, and bring them home renewed in faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Por las intenciones de esta misa. Thanksgivings for prayers answered. Y por el reposo de Elsa Garza, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, óyenos. And for the special intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we feel your spirit's presence in our daily life. With gratitude and trust, we ask you to hear these petitions placed before you through your Son, Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Number 129, 129.
oren para que este sacrificio mío y de ustedes sea agradable a Dios Padre Todopoderoso. Dios nuestro, fuente de toda misericordia, mira las ofrendas que te presentamos en la conmemoración de San José y concédenos propicio que los dones ofrecidos se conviertan en protección para los que te invocan. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as a spouse of the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May your voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Gustavo our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who had fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Luke, and all the saints who have led you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Por Cristo, con él y en él, a ti Dios Padre omnipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria por los siglos de los siglos. Fieles a la recomendación del Salvador y siguiendo su divina enseñanza, nos atrevemos a decir, Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos del mal. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concédenos la paz en nuestros días, para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Tuyo es el reino, tuyo el poder y la gloria por siempre, Señor. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, concédele la paz y la unidad. Tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Comunión espiritual. Creo, Jesús mío, que estás real y verdaderamente en el cielo y en el santísimo sacramento del altar. 
Te amo sobre todas las cosas y deseo vivamente recibirte dentro de mi alma. Pero no pudiendo hacerlo ahora sacramentalmente, ven al menos espiritualmente a mi corazón. Y como si ya te hubiese recibido, te abrazo y me uno del todo a ti. Señor, no permitas que jamás me aparte de ti. Señor, tú eres el mar que nos da la vida eterna. Señor, tú eres el mar que nos da la vida eterna. Dijo Jesús cierto día. Oh, my God. 
Oremos. Alimentado, Señor, con el manjar celestial, te suplicamos humildemente que a ejemplo de San José, llevemos en nuestro corazón las pruebas de tu amor y gocemos siempre del fruto de la paz eterna. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Uh, as we have been announcing, uh, today we are going to, in a kind of certain way, say farewell to Brother Elmer, who has been with us for a year already. You know, he, he is continuing his studies. He will be living here in San Antonio, but not in this community after he returns from, a, from a World Youth Day, right? So, and because of that reason, we will, we, will, we will not have today the Chaplet of Divine Mercy because we will be celebrating Brother Elmi by the foyer. So, but I'll, let us pray for him, right? Let us pray for him. So. Let us everybody pray for him. So I will ask you to please uh, extend your right hand upon him and we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the graces you have given to Brother Elmer and for all the graces we have received throughout this year through his presence. Continue blessing him. You know him, his needs, you know his challenges his joys, uh, according to your wisdom, and bless him. And make of him a testimony of the presence of Christ, wherever he may be. That may, uh, through his studies, he may acquire also the science uh, he needs to continue sharing the gospel of Christ in your church. Bless him, protect him, and make of him a blessing, wherever he may be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Muchas felicidades. Thank you very much, brother. <laughs> All right. <laughs> El Señor está con ustedes. Con tu La bendición de Dios Todopoderoso, Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo, descienda sobre ustedes y permanezca para siempre. Amen. Amen. Esta celebración eucarística ha terminado. Vayan en la paz de Cristo. Song number five.